Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. We're going kayak fishing today, you guys. But first, the sponsor of today's video is Red Odeo, LifePo 4 lithium batteries, you guys. Oh yeah, they have great prices. And if you click that link in the description area and head over there and check them out and decide to buy one, yeah, you're gonna get a discount. Just use code Rad Reeling Fishing at the checkout. So I've got the 100 amp hour LifePo, look at how light that is. <laughs> LifePo 4 lithium battery, and I've got the 50 amp hour LifePo 4 lithium battery, and the company sent me a 20 amp charger. These are beautiful batteries, you guys, very reasonably priced, and you're going to get an even better deal when you use code Rad Reeling Fishing in the checkout. So we're going to be using the 100 amp hour battery today when we go fishing. The 50 amp hour battery, I ordered it for my fish finder, but unfortunately, I just realized something a couple days ago. This is not going to fit in that small little hatch hole for my Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120, but we will be able to put this to good use somewhere else, um, somewhere down the line, guaranteed. But anyway, you guys, yeah, I'm excited to go catch some fish, so let's do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this battery hooked up here at the house. It's just easier that way, and then I can carry the whole battery case and everything down to my vehicle. So, the way that these lithium batteries were is you have this bolt that screws into the battery. So it's the negative side. Get that one tightened down good. Then do our positive side here. That tightened down good. Nice and secure. Just gonna make sure you have a Phillips screwdriver. And that's it guys, we are ready to go. Well, <laughs> I thought I got up late, but I've got safe light. I'm getting ready to launch my kayak. I got about three dozen, three dozen shrimp. Oh my God, if they spilled. Uh, don't kill them, JC. Coming down this sidewalk up here and my, my wheels popped out of my kayak. Apparently my bucket flipped over. But anyway, as I was saying, guys, it's a gorgeous day. I thought I was running late, but I'm right on time for safe light. I got some shrimp, I got some lures, so let's see what we can find. Trying not to get my feet wet. I gotta do some rigging here, guys, before I take off. I gotta quickly get rigged up with a 25 pound test mono leader. All right, guys, I'm gonna get my rod rigged up with this Berkeley. It's a suspending lure. It's got a lip on it. So, yeah, we'll, we'll try this guy out this morning. I'm gonna guess that's about a three and a half inch long lure. Looks good. Plenty silver, right? All right, guys, the second rod, I'm rigged up with a Moonwalker from Salt Strong. There'll be a link in the description area. You can head over to Salt Strong, get some free baits through those links. So let's give it a try. Fishing out of my Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120 today. Got a 45 pound thrust integrated electric trolling motor with spot lock technology. Um, I always have a link to this in the description area as well. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna cast around this area first this morning. And uh, then we're gonna head this way and hit some of these docks along the way with some top water. Just missed one, just missed one, just missed one. Okay. Durability of the new Berkeley. Not good. I hit the piling once and it just cracked right apart. Uh, it's disappointing. All right, guys, so I'm tying a Yozuri on. Life, it ain't nothing but a fuddy fuddy riddle. Thank God I'm a country boy. You saw a huge sheep's head right there. Oh, there's another one. We got sheep's, sheep's head on the bridge. Little bitty bump, little bitty fish right there. Second top water hit I've had this morning. Maybe they are hanging out around the mangroves. 
Hey, hey, I've been out here for about an hour. I've had two hits on top water. Nothing like earth shattering, right? But the sun's getting up there pretty good, so my plan is to keep throwing lures. I've got docks that run all the way up here around this, this point, and I'm just gonna keep throwing lures until that sun really gets up there good and then we're going to switch over to live shrimp and we'll just pitch some live shrimp around these docks and see what we can find this morning i imagine we'll get torn up by snappers i saw three or four snappers followed up my yozuri a little while ago pretty pretty decent size so i i mark that dock where there's a bunch of snappers all right let's get back on it little little bump right there yep we're getting to follow getting a little follow there something small chasing it dude i threw it right up on the seawall come on get off of there i'm going to switch over to live shrimp i fished a bunch this morning with lures and just am not having any hits so let's switch to live shrimp and see if we can get on some fish here whoa whoa whoa, whoa. fish on fish on that's a good fish that's a good one. There we go. Nice snapper. Nice snapper. That's a keeper snapper there. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Rodney got him. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! Got us a nice snapper. Pinch the tail I got would be 12 inches. So, this is like the fourth dock that I've stopped at fishing with shrimp. Had a couple little hits. I uh, had one decent hit back on another dock there, but guys, the sun is getting way up there. I've been up out here probably close to two and a half hours now, and that's the first fish that I've caught. <laughs> I just had my rod sitting at the rod holder. I was rigging up my other rod. I'm putting 20 pound test on the other rod. I've got 25 on the, the rod that I just caught that snapper on. I just had it sitting in the rod holder and a shrimp up there and I looked over at my line and went, shoom. I'm like, whoo-hoo, baby, here we go. All right. Well, let's do that again while I'm getting re-rigged. I just, I, I saw a school of about six sheep's head when I pulled up on this dock, too. So I'm just going to stick this guy back in the rod holder, and we're going to keep on rigging here. I don't normally do this, but I got two rods out. I got 25-pound test here with a shrimp, 20-pound test here with a shrimp. So may the best leader win. There he is. There we go. That's, oh, dude, that was a good fish. That was a good fish. That was another good one on the... Uh, that was on 25-pound test. I was just wondering where those sheep's head went that I saw. And then all of a sudden, boom, I got a hit. Yep, there he is. There we go. That little guy. He's still pretty good size, though. Thanks for the catch, buddy. See ya! Just when I was thinking... I should probably move and wham I get a hit isn't that the way it happens all right we're gonna move to the next dock this just is not happening here there he is oh I lost him and I got tangled darn it oh this stinking braid that was a decent hit this braid just wrapped all up around my reel what in the world? I got a mess here. Darn it, dude. That was a good one. Oh, I just killed my shrimp. I whacked him right up against the piling. That's a hit, that's it, that's a fish, that's a good fish. There we go, that's a decent one. Hey, we got snappers on this dock. That's a decent one, that one might be a keeper there. He's looking like a keeper. Well, that was two casts and two hits. Got us another keeper mangrove snapper. Hey, this is pretty awesome, you guys. I mean, I have not had a lot of hits this morning to catch two keeper mangrove snapper. You know what that tells me? This area does not get much pressure. That's what it tells me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be catching nine and three quarter inch long snapper, right? All right, let's get back in there. Perfect cast, JC, perfect. There he is. There we go. Got you, big guy. Took a long time, but we got another one. And he's going to be a little short, I think. And he's, he's probably about nine inches. All right. We finally got another one. See ya. Yeah, 
Yep, that's a hit. That's a hit. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I stuck that one good. I stuck that guy good. That's going to be another keeper there. That's another keeper. Oh, he got off. Dang it, that was a good one. Oh, oh my gosh. That was a nice snapper. That was about 11 inch, man. Dang it. So I'm just freelining these shrimp, right? I got 20 pound test leader. Oh, that's a hit right there. See how my line's moving? I missed him. Oh, I can see him right there. He's chasing the shrimp. I could see him chasing the shrimp right there. Yeah, he's he's got it again. See how my line's moving? I got to tighten up on it. There he is. Yeah, it's a little snapper. That's a little snapper there. <laughs> So I'm just, I'm leaving slack in my line, right? I use the high vis yellow line. And we just got slack, I just got slack in it. So I can see when the line moves, I know I'm getting a bite. But it's shallow here. I mean, you can see the bottom. It's only about four or five feet deep. So you don't need a big heavy weight. You throw the shrimp up there and just, just let them drift naturally. Oh, he came off. Good deal. All right. Nice. Nice using a, a little bitty hook, guys. That's like a number two, very small hook that I have on there. Love being in a kayak. You're so low to the water. You can just skip your baits right underneath there, no problem at all. Just sidearm cast, just pew, like a bullet, baby. That's a hit, that's it, that's a fish, that's a good fish. There we go, that's a decent one. He's looking like a keeper. Definitely a keeper man. In the box. Yeah, baby. I don't know how many shrimp I got left, but I'm having a good time. We got three keeper mangrove snapper in the box. And uh, let's keep on pushing on. The water is nice and clean up here. No smell of red tide. Red tide moved out of here about a week ago. But this area that I'm fishing is a very long way from a major inlet. So the charter boat captains, they say whenever red tide hits, your best bet is to get as far away from the major inlets as you can. Get up in the back area, backwater areas. This is an intercoastal waterway. And uh, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, this dock right here has got a lot of shade on it. It might be holding some snappers. So the red Odeo battery, it is cranking good guys. We're cruising at four miles an hour right now. Yeah, 3.9, 3.8, four miles an hour. We are just like, whoo, this is like top speed for the Autopilot 120, so. Love these lightweight lithium batteries, man. They are definitely the way to go. And the price is right on this Red Odeo. 